everybody welcome back to trail of fire so guys um haven't done a spoonful saturday in a while so i'm gonna do a spoonful of some sauces guys all right so first on the list heinz jalapeno ketchup i got some hot sauce i'm gonna review too so bear with me guys and i got this and i got a few onion rings over here i'm gonna dig into because i'm a chubby bitch Anyways, tried the other jalapeno ketchups. I haven't tried the Heinz. Surprisingly, I'm not much of a Heinz fan. I know a lot of people are. But, I'm going to try to be unbiased. I'm going to try to get my honest opinion on there. I didn't even check to see if this has corn syrup. I hate how they put corn syrup and everything. God, man, my eyes. Don't have my glasses on. Uh, it's still right there. I don't. Yep, it's got that high fructose corn syrup. Come on, Heinz, get with the program. Anyways, there's a lot of brands out there that don't use corn syrup. I like real sugar. Real sugar tastes better, guys. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, there's no difference. There's a difference. You ever taste uh, soda in a glass bottle? They use a real sugar. It tastes way better than the corn syrup crap. My cap is cracked. However, you know, I take it back. Heinz, they actually, the Heinz 57 sauce is not bad. You ever tried the Heinz 57? I'm going to do a whole spoonful of ketchup. I'm not really sure how I feel about doing a spoonful of ketchup, but let's see this. That was a lot of damn ketchup. Not enough jalapeno. Okay, the flavor is good. Not enough jalapeno. You know what? I'm really, really, guys, don't unsubscribe if I actually say this because I'm really big on certain brands. Um, I'm not a great value fan. The great value jalapeno ketchup is actually better. This is sweeter, though. This is actually too sweet. And I think it's because the, um, I think it's because of the corn syrup they use in it. Corn syrup is garbage. It, it really is, but you know, hey, whatever. I, I'm going to try to be unbiased here. I'm going to try it on one of my onion rings here. Way better on food. Tangy. No real heat. Um, it does have a little bit of jalapeno flavor. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. You're on a budget, and this one's cheaper than the other ones in the store. Go with this. It's not bad. But if price is no object, they got some really heat. By the way, guys, I don't know if you guys have ever tried the sriracha ketchup. Sriracha ketchup's really good. So the next up on the list here for tonight, I'm going to do a spoonful of Earl's Yellow Scorpion Sauce. And I think I've reviewed this before, but anybody that hasn't seen me review it, you, you probably would have to scroll back a little while. I'm going to go ahead and do a spoonful of this tonight because I'm just looking around my house of all the spicy stuff that I got to run down. And I'm like, you know what? Let's not get on here and talk to you guys. I love getting on here and chatting with you guys, seeing what you guys are up to. Oh, and uh, for my drink tonight, I have a blueberry thyme uh, kombucha. I'm a really big kombucha fan. I don't drink kombucha all the time because I'm a cheap ass and this stuff's expensive. At least in my opinion. Paying like paying like three bucks for a drink is a little pricey. But this stuff is really good. I like this brand. The um, Spring Spring Blends or uh, Spring Branch. Spring Branch. I don't know why I say Spring Blends. I'm not really picking up on the blueberry. It kind of has that fermented tea kind of smell. Oh, that is good. I would have never thought that the blueberry and the thyme would go good together. That seems like a... Let me get another sip. Mm. That's good. I wanted to cleanse my palate so that I could get this flavor out of there. Now I got this flavor. So... Let's see here. This was my wife's favorite sauce, man, when she was pregnant. Just going to throw that out there. 
have spicy food cravings. Midnight Taco Bell. All right, let's rock and roll, guys. Come on, get the flow restrict on. This is a little bit thinner than some sauces, so I don't want to take the flow restrictor off and just have it boop everywhere. Bone apple teeth. Oh, heck yeah. That stuff's good. This stuff's got... <coughs> this goes to the back of the throat. The, um... The Earl uh, Yellow Scorpion definitely has a, a good kick to it. The flavor is great. I love the uh, Earl's Ghost sauces that he uh, makes. If you go to earlsghost.com, his sauces are very low sodium, which is great for people like me that have to watch your salt. And plus, have you ever just tried a sauce that has way too much salt? It just doesn't taste good to me. Yes, sir. You can smell the yellow scorpion. It has the floral notes to it. Sorry for talking my mouth full. Dang. This stuff is so good. <clears throat> But yeah, it has like a little caution label on it. This stuff does actually have some really good heat. The first time I tried this, I can't remember if I like put it like on an omelet. I put it on something and I just laid heavy on it. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't look that thick. This stuff like really lit me up. It's got some really good heat to it. I'm feeling the heat right here in the back of my throat, a little bit on the roof of my mouth. It's really tangy. And even though it has that floral smell, you don't really pick up on the, the floral flavor too much, and I'm not as sure exactly how he grows his peppers, but he has some of the best tasting yellow scorpion peppers I've ever had. And he has a yellow scorpion hot pepper powder that I also buy from him, and that stuff is really, really good, guys. Check out earlsghost.com, and you'll see all his selection of hot sauces and hot pepper powders. So, um, Doug, if you if you end up watching my video, I hope I got, um, the guy's name is Doug Canada, who owns Earl's Ghost. And I'm hoping that I got the information right. But, um, yeah, check it out. This is really cool. That's the nutrition facts. Great thing about hot sauces. Most hot sauces are virtually calorie-free. And this one's great, too, because it doesn't have any, like, salt or sugar in it. I mean, it has almost no salt, so it's perfect. It is really, really a perfect sauce. It tastes almost, has almost like a good tangy, like, fermented flavor, I guess, a way to describe it. Really amazing, and I really, really have a hard time putting this stuff down. I'm going to have some more on my onion ring. So, um, it's literally, I'm feeling like I'm going to burp from the uh, peppers I'm eating. <clears throat> Sorry, pardon me. Mm. Yeah, really good. If you do a full spoonful of this, it does kind of, it hits the back of your throat. Kind of feel it in your nasal cavity. It's really good. It's almost like taking a shot of extra spicy horseradish. There you guys have it. Mm. I might start doing a spoonful Saturday. I'm starting to like doing the Saturday videos. If you guys think that spoonful Saturday, just a new sauce each time, maybe with a new meal, is something you guys would want to watch, drop me a comment. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really glad you guys are here. Guys, as always, it's been a pleasure. Until next time, guys, I'll see you on the trail fire. God bless and have a great weekend.